I'm not sure if this will make it into an actual video or not, but I figured I couldn't do all this mock up here and making these cardboard pieces without showing you guys and just taking a step back here. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for where this is going and getting these pieces on the car for good will uh, be pretty cool, but it's nice to actually, you know, see it in real life here opposed to just some drawings or renders. So obviously we got a spoiler back here. Like I said, I'll be making my own corner pieces. That'll be part of the spoiler so I can kind of give you a rough idea of what that'll look like. The diffuser will be down here. It won't be up this high. This is just kind of where I had it resting tape wise. It was a struggle to get that up there. And once I got it up there, it uh, is staying where it was. Obviously get the wheels mocked up. Threw the gas cap on, that's pretty cool to see. It's the first time I've seen that on the new quarters here. And as we go forward, gonna do some NACA ducks in the quarter windows here. So that'll be pretty cool. Went through and just wiped down the fender and the door uh, just with some quick buffing material on a rag and definitely brought some color back to it. So that's kind of cool. A little more vibrant in here, opposed to metal dust, concrete floor, white door, but yeah. That looks sick. So obviously got a lot of work ahead to make this a reality out of metal or carbon. So we'll uh, we'll get to that, but just had to take a step back, see that all in person and take it in because that's pretty motivating there. All right, in this video here, I'm gonna go through and hopefully wrap up a bunch of loose ends and things from the past few videos on the rear section of the car here. So I need to go through and wrap up this deck filler panel here, make the last little pieces for the trunk gutters right there you guys can see. Um, that should wrap up that part up here. I don't know if I'll get to it in this video, but I would also like to make new bottom pieces to go onto the rockers. And then I actually have to weld the quarters to the roof structure. So along that point right there where those Clecos are, the door jam in this section. So I think I'm gonna leave this area for probably a separate video. It just kind of depends what I'll get done this week. I also cut this section out the other day. You can see what it looks like on the other side there. That is a 70 marker light, just a big rectangular marker light on the side. There was just a little lip on the end, so I just cut that off, got this prepped, had to pick up some metal, so I'm gonna be making a piece. Fill that in right here. If I was smart, I would've just got a 68 quarter panel, because it's just got a little circle one about there, and that would've already been filled in, but whatever, is what it is. First thing I'm gonna go ahead and do, though, is remake this back piece here. If you guys watched, I think it was two videos ago now, you saw when I made that piece and I kind of ended off that video saying I wasn't happy with it. Um, I want to make the dimples in it one and a half inch dimples opposed to one inch dimples. I think it'll get rid of a lot of the dead space on this. And then you can see there's some gaps as well. The tolerance fitment wise is not there. Some of the holes aren't totally centered on it. So I got a couple things I need to go through and fix. Picked up another sheet of aluminum here. So I'm gonna pull this off make some marks on it first, and then get to making the new piece right now. figured this was the best way to show the difference between the new panel and the old panel. Get the template for the new panel on the top, template for the old panel on the bottom here. The obvious difference is these corner pieces. So you can see it's a little bit taller, a little bit wider along the sides there. 
this shape is a lot more accurate so the fitment is pretty much perfect at this point you can see the old one here just wasn't quite up to par so I was not happy with that spacing for all the holes and the mounting bolts is exactly the same um, overall it is a touch taller so you said fitment wise I'm very happy with it you can see the old panel right here that was the one I made in the previous video and then I got the new panel sitting right here just de ate it and wiped it down also went through and ended up remaking the bracket system for the back here um, I just I don't know, wasn't feeling the old one. And since I already did the panel, I just had a different idea for this. I like this a lot better. These ones also act as a support between this top piece and the bottom piece right here. So it eliminates a little bit of flex. And as you can see, this panel has different angles as it goes all the way across. So the center two are on the same angle, the outer two, and then the furthermost ones are on the same angle as well. And that helps the panel hold the shape. Um, top to bottom, but also going across. So that looks pretty nice. It will eliminate any kinks in the panel. Obviously the top two holes are threaded. I tap those for the bolts. The middle one, I just drilled out just to take some weight out of that. I wanted to do kind of a step on those middle holes. That way it would match the dimples kind of on the new panel there, but it ended up not working out. So just drilled that out and uh, called it a day there. Like I mentioned, this one, is 100 times better fitment wise. These corners were pretty tricky because as you can see, this part here kicks out on a radius. So that's why that had to be cut right there because that's flush with that piece. And then that kicks out just right there. The trunk seal will go on here. You know, it'll hang down a little bit right there. So that should cap that off pretty nice once it's all set and done. The main purpose of this panel though is to basically cover up the taillight harness. So whether the harness, you know, comes up this side of the car or that side of the car, that'll be figured out down the line. But I could run the harness through the back side here. Um, I'll probably end up using some lines of this here, some wire loom, probably be used throughout the entirety of the car. But I'll make some brackets to mount that, whether it be in that back channel there or if I tuck it up against the back side of this panel, it'll hide underneath there. Don't really know yet, but that'll all be body works back there. That'll be painted. I think it'll look pretty cool once it's all set and done. And one last little thought before I wrap up talking about this stupid little panel here is you can see I DA'd the face of it and then I went through and scotch breaded the actual dimple part. So it's kind of got a different brush to look to it there. And it gave me an idea for something for this panel and basically maybe other dimple die pieces going forward is painting the panel, you know, either a satin or a gloss uh, color, whatever that color may end up being, but then do the dimple part of it the opposite. So if I got a fully satin panel, do the dimple part gloss or vice versa, gloss panel with a satin dimple part, it may add some depth to it. it, might look cool or it might just blend the dimple in and not, you know, show the actual depth of it. So. We'll kind of see, we got a long ways, obviously, until I get to that point, but just stuff that I was thinking about ahead of time here, because uh, I think that looks kind of cool there and gives it a neat look. So I'm not showing the full process of making these pieces here, because I'm filming it for an Instagram video. So if you like the short form style videos, go be sure to check that out. I generally try to do one or two videos a week on stuff I'm doing, but when I go to do that side over there, I'll film that for YouTube, show the full process. Just wanted to give you guys a quick little look at how that piece is getting all mocked up there. Uh, ready to go through and tack it in. It's flat pretty much seven eighths of the way down. And then there's a little bit at the bottom. It's got a tiny radius because as you can see, it starts to kind of radius right before this body line here. So got that all squared up, all good. Fitment wise, looking really good. So gonna go ahead, tack that in place and fully weld it up, blend it in and we'll see what it looks like. Wrapped up this side marker delete plate, I guess if you want to call it that, turned out really well. Very happy with that. That's all blended in flush, seamless, aerodynamic, if you uh, want to think of it that way. Like I said, when I go to the other side, I'll show you guys exactly the process for that there. Inside of it turned out pretty good as well. So yeah, happy with that piece overall. Looks like uh, it could have been like that from the factory. Now that that is wrapped up, I can get to pretty much the main part of this video, which is going to be welding the quarter panels to the roof structure 
and then modifying this deck filler panel here in a couple different ways. I didn't really show you guys a close up look at this in the last video, but I did mention that the shape from this one here is different here. You can see how this dives down right at the end. This piece would have overlapped on top. So even with them cut, you know, perfectly in a line there, you could see that this is just not going to line up and it wasn't gonna be worth it to try to massage both of them and get to lined up. I thought it would have been kind of goofy. The ideal way of making this work would probably be, you know, start with a flat piece and then with a die and basically shaping it to the shape of the trunk cutter there, make an extension piece, cut the ends of these two pieces and welding that in place. It takes a lot of time and then obviously you have to make a tool to form the metal to that shape as well. I don't really have anything like that, nor did I want to weld a bunch of 90 joints together to make that piece. So my solution here, I think it'll turn out pretty good, is I went ahead and bought another trunk gutter from AMD here, $75 piece. Um, it's a little bit of money, but I think it's gonna save me a lot of time and headache because what I can do is, you know, cut the whatever it may be, one inch, two inch section out of this, prep that, cut the end of this here, cut the end of that, splice it in right there. So it'll take a little bit of work to get everything lined up, but I think that is gonna be the way to go. I'm gonna go ahead, cue the time lapse, start on that first here, now that I went through double check measurement and height of everything and try to knock this panel out here. That is officially a wrap on these rear trunk cutters here, the corners with a deck filler panel. Um, it was the same process that I did for everything back here, weld it up, uh, use a Dremel DA, kind of grind down and sand it down. So I really didn't show that process because it would have been showing the same things last time, but those turned out pretty good. Um, I'm just happy they're done. Those were pretty challenging and kind of annoying pieces to make. I'm not gonna lie, after doing all this, didn't necessarily wanna go through and uh, do these little pieces here, but they had to get done. And I'm pretty happy with the way they turned out there. Um, you could see all those templates on the board right here were for just this rear section of the car alone. So everything back here, all these pieces were involved. As you guys saw, I went through and basically made these little wings, uh, which is what those templates right there are for. And those went on the side of the deck filler panel here. So it's cut right there. I had to make an extension piece on that uh, because it didn't reach all the way to the side because there basically would have been a little, I don't know, a little lip on there from the factory. So. Got that extended out, that way I could weld that up, make it all look seamless. Um, and continuing with this gap right here, which is a half inch gap, I wanted that to go all the way to the front. And from the factory, this piece kind of had this weird like kick up. I didn't like that, so I'd go through, cut this, um, bend that down, weld that up, that way I can get a half inch gap all the way across. Standing back, you'll never be able to tell. And that is the goal. Um, but I think it's just once again, small, tiny detail that no one will notice, but it uh, pleases my OCD. Obviously, I didn't go through and make pieces for this gap on the side here, and that's because I still cannot make up my mind on what I want to do on that. So 
I don't know. Like I said, I'm kind of sick and tired of this deck filler panel right now. So I'll probably come back to that at some other point. I'm going to jump to the front of the quarter panels here because um, I got a new tool in to make some pieces for those. So I'm more or less looking forward to that. And then when the time comes, I'll come back and fully make a decision on that. But this panel is on for good now. And those corners blend in with everything else. So it looks pretty good. Now that that's all done, I need to go through and figure out some sort of either self-etching primer or epoxy primer. I don't know what the best route is for all this bare metal stuff quite yet. So I gotta go through, do some research, figure out exactly what I want to do. But in terms of the trunk area here, that doll turned out pretty nice. That new back panel on there, these corners I had to go through and not only obviously make the top look good, but then go through and everything on the bottom there has to look seamless as well. So it's a lot of work just for small pieces like that, but overall pretty happy with that. And uh, honestly, just kind of glad it's done.